For those of you who saw the Street Fighter movie, you know that Guile's friend Charlie is turned into Blanca via Bison's genetic experiments. In Alpha 2, you get to play Charlie before his grotesque metamorphosis. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer doesn't quite feel like 600 miles per hour as advertised. There is one thing that really bugs us, if we may digress for a moment. Why does every game, with the exception of Ken Griffey Baseball for the N64, list the Baltimore Orioles Stadium as Baltimore Stadium? They have the correct name, so what's the deal? Are the Orioles so pig-headed about the use of Oriole Park at Camden Yards that they only let Nintendo use the name? In our opinion, that really stinks. This cave dude makes Joe and Mac look like Wall Street execs. And of course, Ryu. The create a player mode is awesome. The players change size, stance, skin color, national origin, the size of their underwear, well, not really their underwear. This feature might as well have it though, it has everything else. Unless you can't resist pink hair, you might want to pass. Other characters include Adon, who's like a cross between Robin Hood and a Jaguar, Birdie, the wild beast type, Chun-Li, who in the movie seeks vengeance against Bison for killing her father, Jin, a sagely warrior in Hong Kong, Guy, a fighter who has also appeared in Capcom's Final Fight 3, Rolento, who looks like a mercenary version of the Riddler, Rose, a magician street fighter, Sakura, a high school girl on a mission, Sodom, a bulky robot freak, and Dalsam, the Indian monk who looks nothing like his movie counterpart. There are a number of ways to increase your odds in winning in Alpha 2. First of all, lower the difficulty level to one star and change the number of rounds to one. But it just makes us wonder why people actually spend 80 bucks to beat a bunch of sprites into the ground when they can do it for free on a real live human being. The game is about as immersive as Pong. The graphics have an 8-bit feel. The game has more modes than Carter has pills. A competition mode, a half pipe mode, a freestyle mode, a big air mode, a board park mode, Modes, modes, modes. What about a better game mode? Toe ball number one is a shockingly inferior game. There, we've said it. The only real reason Cool Borders was even made is to reel in all those college-age skiers. Skiing is very popular with that crowd, and the game comes out just as college kids are getting their semester break. Perfect time. Mega Man X4 may not even be released at all for the PlayStation. Sony is once again being a real jerk by refusing to allow 2D games to be manufactured. Sony definitely has a bug up its you-know-what, and they've got some major balls ticking off Capcom, the maker of the first PlayStation game to sell one million copies. That game was, of course, Resident Evil. Capcom should threaten not to release Resident Evil 2 and watch Sony buckle. Obviously, this game will be more exciting than Mega Man X4. Earthbound is an easy RPG. Bust a Groove, Cyberdeck, and Brave Fencer Mushashi. All these games have in common is the letter B. Prepare to visit several places. A clubhouse, arcade, burger shop, theater, Loch Ness Lake, the dinosaur museum, hospital, drugstore, Stonehenge, a police station, library, a park, city hall, preschool, a bakery, laboratory, tents, caves, inns, a desert, a beach resort, grocery store, a snake shop, and Saturn Valley. Watch out for Master Belch. You may have smelled him before. Earthbound is the first RPG to be set in modern times. After a few days of playing the game, it starts to get old. All in an effort to overthrow some big, evil bad guy. Mario 64 was developed using Silicon Graphics computers. The same computers that brought you the special effects in Jurassic Park, Twister, Independence Day, and of course, Toy Story. The significance of this is that video games are becoming so advanced and so popular that they're starting to gain Hollywood's attention. Sony did a good job of creating a likable hero. I've never seen such an endearing skeleton. That's death. No need to take a breath. I stand corrected. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Or in our case, just get in a few digs and run for the hills. The name's Bond. James Bond. Nintendo has emphasized that GoldenEye is not just another Doom clone. This may be true, but GoldenEye hardly redefines the genre. 